Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, and I haven't really picked up the camera much the last couple days. Um, had some like weird feelings about everything, uh, which if you're following me on Instagram, you might have seen. So to kick this vlog off, I did film a couple highlights of the week. So I'm just gonna tag those by day and let you kind of catch up with where I've been, and then we'll pick up today where we are now. All right, you are probably wondering what I'm doing in my car. Um, it is around 7.45 and I decided um, right near our house is like kind of like an offset trail. No one ever, ever goes to it. And I really need to just take a walk and clear my brain. This morning I watched three different news broadcasts and read one news article. So I went purposefully, what I've been trying to do is go to multiple sources to try to piece together what's actually happening. And all four sources that I went to today each said something different. And I just need to like clear my brain and focus on what I can control here in my home. It's just a very weird, very weird time and I think what we got to do is continue to think about like what are the things within my circle of control and control those things so right now I can control my household and I can control myself and I can do the things that I need to feel my best and then I just have to respond to the facts once I get them if we get them so that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go for a walk, I'm gonna clear my brain, I'm gonna to listen to some music, and I am just going to take a breath. I'm actually driving with bare feet because my shoes got so incredibly muddy that I had to take them off and put them in the back. So. I don't even care. Normally, Stephen would tell you that is something that would drive me crazy. It was so worth it just to find some space to breathe. I am getting ready to work out, and today I'm doing this 30 minute HIIT workout, um, and it's supposed to be really great. One of my tips though is to hook whatever you're streaming from, if you're doing it outside or in your basement or wherever, and you're going from like a smaller device, uh, get a Bluetooth speaker um, and hook your phone or your tablet or your laptop up to that. It just sounds so much better and it's easier to follow. So I'm gonna do this workout, it's about a half hour long, and we're gonna get going. So yeah, those are kind of what happened over the last two, three days. I can't even really remember how many it's been. Um, but like I said, today's Friday and we woke up to this, a real, snowfall and it's still actually coming down pretty decently so it is around 9 30 and i actually just got back i left at seven went to the grocery store and went to target to pick up a couple things that i couldn't find at the grocery store i haven't been like stockpiling i've literally been going once a week and trying to buy out um a whole week's worth of meals so i'm good now till about next friday and Last Friday was when I went last, so going about like a week um, at a time, but being really cautious not to overbuy so that there's enough left for everyone. Any updates over here? No. No updates. How do you feel about the snow? He loves the snow. You do love a snow. Who's a snow bunny? He's a cold brother dog. Who's a snow bunny? He He's hard at work on his Friday morning. Who bubbles? Oh, also we fired the llama this week. Oh yes, no, 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 the llama quit. She was tired of being dragged around in her supervisor's mouth. Our so. new hire is Squirrel in a Dress. That's what we have named her. And for casual Friday, she's way overdressed. She's I mean, she a wears, a, she wears a gown every day to work. An eyeshadow done up, but she's the new hire. New bu Bubba's new assistant, do you want her? Get to work. Get to work. Oh my. So I am just getting around to having breakfast. And it's 11 o'clock. So I'm going to keep it really light. And I'm just going to do um, this little bowl of berries. And I'm just going to throw a little granola on top of that. 
Also, so many of you are in love with the pantry. Um, we love it too. I'm telling you, being able to just see everything makes it so much easier to manage. I'm being honest with you. So today, like knowing that some soups were missing, I knew I needed to buy soup and add it to my list. Like just seeing what you have allows you to really think about what you need to pick up the next time you go out. But I mean, it's just a pantry of dreams. All right, friends, I am getting ready to prep my lunch. I wanted to sit and let the flavors come together, so I'm actually prepping it a little early, and I'm making a curry chicken salad, but I don't like mayonnaise, so I use hummus as my base. All right, so in here I have about two spoonfuls of hummus. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little pepper. Curry powder goes a long way, so I'm just gonna do one. I'm gonna do one spoonful of curry, a little cayenne, and then half the juice of one lime. And then I'm just gonna combine. That lime juice will help thin out the sauce that we're going to use as like our mayonnaise. All right, so now I have this container of shredded chicken. And to that, I'm going to add one stock of celery. This might not be the best container to mix this in, but I didn't want to have to dirty multiple containers. I'm going to add a handful of grapes. And then I minced up about a quarter of one shallot. Yeah, this is going to be a horrible mixing container. So I'm going to have to put this in a bowl to make it easier. I'm just gonna start incorporating that in first. I don't like a really wet chicken salad either. I like mine on the drier side. Okay. Oh my gosh, this hummus smells so good. All right, and this will be lunch today. And I'm just gonna let this sit a while and all combine. So I'm gonna put it back in this airtight container and just clean this all up. I'm getting my lunch ready. Bubby is overseeing me. I am just heating up my tortilla on the stove really quick. I say it all the time, this is the only way to heat up a tortilla. Please do not do it in the microwave. We're gonna do some greens and then the chicken salad on top. Got some greens. Now we're gonna top this with the chicken salad. My Better Life Cleaner uh, just arrived. If you guys remember, I think in the last video I mentioned these products. They are truly one of my favorites. Um, it's actually the product that I use the most to clean my house with. They're all natural. Um, some of these I already had on stock and then I just replaced some that were running low. But these are probably my, my seven top products that they sell. So stainless steel cleaner, really hard to find. I've tried them all. This is the only one that I find that works. The Okie Doki, this is probably my favorite out of the whole bunch. I just love the way it leaves all your wood finishings look. I think I have like three bottles on stock of this right now. Simply Floored, such a great, great floor cleaner, all natural, really easy to use. Love it. Then the next ones I love. I love their granite and stone cleaner. It's really wonderful. Um, they do come with pumps but their granite cleaner, it doesn't leave any streaks. It leaves like a nice shine on your stone. Can't say enough about it. They have an all natural produce wash that I love. Um, it's just fantastic. So washing all your produce with this, it's wonderful. It will like break down any waxes that are on it and just does a great job. Their tub and towel cleaner, once again, one of my faves. And then I love their all-purpose cleaner. And I particularly love the Clary Sage and Citrus scent. Um, the bathroom is also tea tree and eucalyptus. It smells amazing. And then they sell 
these microfiber cloths and they are awesome to clean with. So Better Life, love them, love them, love them, cannot say enough. These are our cleaning products in our house that we use. It is only three o'clock, but I am getting a jump start on prepping dinner. Tonight we're having vegetarian enchiladas. So in here I have a little bit of olive oil, just a tiny bit and then some organic coleslaw mix. This is the filling for the enchiladas or whatever they will be. So I'm just like cooking this down, getting it good and soft. What's great is once I lay these in the casserole dish, I can just let them out until we're ready to throw them in the oven for dinner. And that way this is all done. I'm now going to grab a packet of taco seasoning and I'm going to throw that with like a little bit of water and just let it cook down and simmer. I'm gonna put some salsa down in my pan first. If your tortillas feel like they might break, wrap them in a damp paper towel and just throw them in the microwave. These are still really soft and really fresh. Um, so they're good to go. What I'm going to do is just put a layer of the taco filling. I'm going to put a layer of that cabbage mixture, some cheese. I'm using a lot of cheese. I'm going to be unapologetic. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salsa on the inside and then fold the ends up and roll that over and put it seam side down. Okay, so these are all set to go. I topped them with a little bit more cheese, a little bit more salsa. I'm okay with like splurging a little bit on the cheese because it's stuffed with just coleslaw mix and the whole wheat tortillas have nothing in them and the salsa doesn't have a lot in them. So load them up with cheese and enjoy your life. And they are done. I did 400 degrees for about 30, 35 minutes. Woohoo! Some of that salsa burnt around the edges, but that's okay. It is Saturday morning and I realized I never closed out yesterday's vlog. Steven and I ended up watching two episodes of Ozark, reading and going to bed. It was a very low-key evening, but uh, just wanted to hop on here to sign off the vlog like I do all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give to everyone. Until next time.